I didn't kill. They're already slowed. Let's go with this one, though. How are you? Get smited. Agile dagger plus one. Bring of protection plus one. That's it. That's what she had. Oh my god. Terrible. Come on, y'all. She's fatigued. Smile. The world's not ending just yet. Fix that, please. Anyone else fatigued? Negative level.
No one else is fatigued or negative level, right? Oh no, you're fatigued. Okay. Oh yeah, we we lost bless. All right, that means all of our level oh, re rebuff. That looks like a boss fight of anything. I do not think we need wait oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. our skin is still on yes Yeah, okay. So we're we're good with that. What's on your mind? I wonder. Well, I'm always open to ideas. Make sure we don't need animal growth anymore because she has command. that now. Are we ready to move out? Calls me. I'll take the bait. Huh? Oh, yes, what? Ona Adayana, Ona Adayana, Ona 
Okay. Good. Anything new? Gods. Okay, let's see here. Wisdom. Your charisma, your charisma. I don't think anyone uses wisdom in this group. God. Save. D did it save? Game quick saved. Good. Let's go, baby. Certainly, this fight mm, this not way. that hard. Oh my god, did she get slowed? This fight's over. <laughs> I didn't think that would actually work. What's the spell resist? 26? I just need a 6. I got real bad rolled there. damage yeah! immune to sneak attack okay they'll beg me to stop god it's gonna go here we go Nothing. Just a crit on Camila. Didn't even break her <clears throat> armor. That's good. Spread out so the screen doesn't hit all of us. The inheritor, guide my blade. Let's try slowing again. She succeeded. Just disintegrate her. There you go. I hate the voice of the spirits. You can trust me. I 
helpful, am I not? I am helpful, am I not? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. They all failed. Okay. A very dead man. Hmm.
Hmm. Oh my god. 10 points of damage per caster level? That's 150. If they save, it's 10d6. Okay. Any non good creature? Inflict serious wound. Mass. Damn. Restoration greater. Resurrect summon greater summon umbral strike. Umbral Strike sounds amazing. Any non good creature in the area, if it's your caster level minus one or hit die. Hmm. Destruction is pretty good too. Any creatures who hit die are equal to or exceed your caster level are unaffected. Yeah. Wearing an umbral strike. are made to be broken restoration greater and cure serious wound man i knew i would get that so did not pick it is he my first level 14 13 12 12 11 14 
Oh no! I have to pick one of these? Okay, I want to read to them. Let's see, what does Angel do? Summon Spirit Paladin. Flame of Life, Blinding, Piercing Ray. Nope. Demon. The power of the beast courses to the demon vein, unleashing. Uh, while the demon knight rays, demon gain plus two attack damage. Caster, we'll, we'll check. It reflect the DC for all saving throw against uh, demon spells and ability increased by two. This benefit increased by one at six and ninth at mythic rank. Starting at second level mythic rank and every demon gain in demonic aspect. Use other demons as inspiration and allow the demon to focus the rage more effectively. Do not claws. Gaining two claw attack. This is very melee centric. Uh, mythic structure can find creative uses for their skills. You get a powerful under champion, min that minion champion. It will become more powerful as you gain new mythic ranks. Just like your companion, the skeleton champion can use any item and also has all the weapon proficiencies. Being undead is also subjected to all the bonuses undead get uh, being under the command mythic glitch, which power you get unique glitch powers. Oh my god. Without a doubt, we are going lich. Yeah, all of our damage is cold, so we don't need to get anything else. Bloodline Ascendant is probably what I'm going to get. No, because I'm going to get it later anyways, right? Elemental Barrage is not bad. Magic notification is great. Unrelenting assault. Every turn as long as you make at least one nope. Thundering blow, nope, bigger they are. Second bloodline. I get to pick another bloodline. We already have undead and elemental.
sneak attack, critical hits, and fire damage. Having a second bloodline is not bad at all. Yeah, fire resist is definitely not bad. Let's take it. Mystic spell book. Can I see? What what's the difference? Two-handed weapons. Specializing. We don't need defense. We already have archer. Two weapon fighting. I mean, when I get uh, Wolf Judge back, he'll be this oh, two-handed. Lich power. Deadly magic. Up to per three rounds per day. Up to three rounds per day. Ignore spell resist and spell immunity. Don't need that. We already do that. Uh, Lich can change any elemental damage to negative energy. We don't need that. Whenever Lich charges or use any combat maneuvers on a successful hit or maneuver, enemy suffer. Nope. You can't touch all Lich natural attack. Include one where you make it in a polymorph form. But nope. With three rounds per day, those can give you all spell will catch you. Featured affected by this spell. Or become blinded and suffer more cold damage. Becoming vulnerable to cold and negative energy until the end of the combat. That's good. That's good. Vulnerable to cold and negative energy until the end of combat. And they need to make a save or take extra damage. Oh my god. That's great. I don't think anything can be better than that right now. Spell resistance is great too. That's great too, my god. Nope, Eclipse Chill is too good. Special abilities, elemental ray, elemental elemental resistance, scorching ray. Now I get a bunch of new spells. Is that because of my mythic book? What if I take that? Oh. And that's because I took Bloodline Fire. That's why I'm getting all that. Yeah, fire is such a common one.
to get wings. I like wings. A lich should have wings, shouldn't they? So far, that's the only one that gives me wings. I don't want to be a dragon. This is so difficult to choose. This is so difficult to choose. What does dragon do for me? Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, they all basically have the same thing. So if it wants me unique, I'm gonna have to go like this. If I take this, I wonder if school power will let me pick evocation again. Oh, this bonus stacks with a bonus granted by spell focus. I think this is I'm gonna pick arcane bloodline. Instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Arcane Bloodline, Delta Executioner, Eclipse Chill, uh, okay. Go with Reflex Save, probably. Will save works too. Um, let's go reflex save. Actually, let's just go viper. What the heck is this? Additional class skill from the arcane bloodline. Lore. Nature, religion, and knowledge world. Knowledge world, I guess. New Arcana. Aspect. Raider. Acid arrow, acid fog. Sunburst. You can add one level. You can also add one additional spell you're capable of casting. Umbral Strike, Transformation, Summon Small Elemental, Sunburst, Summon Monster, 8. Summon Elder, Elemental, Stunning Stone Skin. From French Scout, Raiders, Rope Throw, Protection, Prismatic Spray, Plague Storm. 
Why is it like this? Greater angelic aspect would be good. Um, baleful, B-shape, blindness. It, it. Can I like see what they do? Caustic eruption, chain lightning, controlled fireball, create dead, sleep disintegrate. Echo location, ear position, elemental assessor. Prismatic spray would be good too. Hang on. Eurism greater. Hurricane bow. Invisibility mask. E shout, mind blank. Obsidian flow out pernicious. Polaray. Prismatic spray. Let's go with that one. New Arcana. Prismatic Spray. Now I need a single target ability. Low Shadow. Evocation Raider. Oh my. I would cover a lot of spells. Rift of Ruin, Resonating Words, Reduce Man, Rainbow, and Attraction from Spells. Prediction from Failure, Plague Storm, Phantasmal Putrefication. Where is my Ray of Disintegration? Legendary Proportion, Hurricane Bow, Heroism, Greater Invisibility. Wait, these are just support spells. No, I guess I can take Finger of Death. Did I skip Disintegrate? No. No, Disintegrate is right there. I can take that. That would be a single target. Actually, I can take Chain Lightning. And then this is a 5th level spell that I can just take. Taking evocation based spells would be better. Oh, I don't have a evocation based spell right here. Okay. Uh, let's just take shadow evocation. This is a six level spell. Circle of death. Strike, we already have that. Dude, Circle of Death seems pretty good, huh? Disintegrate is also pretty good. That's 40 D6. Elemental Assessor is pretty good. Hellfire Rain, Greater Heroism. We're not gonna be a buffer. Transformation. Uh, Shiroko. Yeah, it's either gonna be Elemental Assessor or Disintegrate. <laughs> Elemental Assessor is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then every round after that, it takes 46 damage, but we're going to do 4 rounds, it could be 12. So that's. 12 times 4, that's a lot. So that is at least 12d6 worth of damage right there. And it potentially can be way higher. There's a dot spell too. But I think we're gonna go with Circle of Death. 
This is a uh, seventh level spell, and I get to pick two. Necromancy, Wave of Exhaustion, Wave Ecstasy, Walk Through Space, Umbral Strike is Necromancy, huh? Uh, evocation, Caustic Eruption, Acid Erupt in All Direction, yes. Uh, necromancy, Finger of Death. Illusion Key Shout Joyful Rapture Insanity Ice Body Whole Person Mass Legendary Proportion Resonant Shadow Word Shadow Conjuration Summon Greater Elemental Umbral Strike So this functions as my new fireball, for sure. Um, I don't know what else I want, man. I don't really want to go Conjuration. Yeah, this is basically Conjuration, right? So, um, I, this is like choice paralysis right here that I'm experiencing there's a lot of things and I don't know which one I want and which one I want to get I could take legendary proportions one minute per level not terrible the creature height doubles weight increased by a factor of 12 the target uh, it gains plus 6 form bonus through natural armor and DR slash 10 enemy and team melee and range weapon used by this creature deal more damage Legendary proportion is great, but again, other people are going to be able to get this. Fuck it. Give me finger of death. Okay. Oh god, 8th level spell. Uh... Sunburst. Uh... An undead creature caught within a globe takes tons of damage. Okay. Summons. Storm bolts. When you cast a spell, lightning spill forth from your body in all direction. Enemy creature take electricity a stun. Oh god, that sounds amazing. A potent death spell. Deal for castle level living creature in the target area. Sea mantle. Scintillating pattern. Rift of ruin. Protection from spells. Polar Ray. One creature with a medium range standard action. Mind Blank Iron Body Hard. Tranquility Dragonkin. Besto Curse. Greater Angelic Aspect. So I'm going to either get Polar Ray. Wait, what is this one? Chain Lightning, Cold Ice Strike, each sound, Sirocco Caustic Eruption or Elemental spell. If recognized as the Greater Shadow Evocation, a damage spell, a damaging spell only deal three fifths of the damage. Okay, so if I take this, um, Chain Lightning, Cold Ice Strike, Key Strike, all that will be gotten. And an Illusion, no. Yeah, see, that's an illusion. Now, let's just get this. Storm Bolts. I think that would be pretty good. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, we, we have to get it. Okay. Then we get Prismatic Spray, Chain Lightning. Okay. New spell. Embrace of Death, Storm, Bolts, Bone Shield, Fall. Oh god, there's tons of these things. Uh, Chain Lightning. Prismatic Spray is a 7th level spell. get ton of everything oh my god this is insane I have become a lich the wound when you cast closes and a drop of blood spill on the sword of valor bursts into transparent flames a wave of fire rushes out from the blood and across the entire banner transforming it and emblazoning it with new colors Power descends upon you, suffusing your mortal body, making it in its image. It fills your body with through the brim, breaking bones and tearing muscles while at the same time healing them. You raise your head acutely aware that you will have to have the heavy, almost palpable shadow of death hanging over you from here on to eternity. Nothing bad has happened yet, right? You can still back out. Sure you can. And you will, won't you? Why do we need this darkness? Tell me. We don't need it to chop demons' horns off. What an interesting turn of events. Such intriguing power. Boy, if you should suddenly expire, I would be happy to dissect your remains. Now it's time to leave your weekend reflect on the events later, and now it's time to act. The witch icon. Rise, my undead army. Show them the power. Of death. That's how I live. At the, you remember at the beginning of the game? I'm like, how the hell did I survive that? You see, Suture? Shunt has no place here. I've waited for a very long time. But now the hour has come to turn my ideas into reality. I still have things to do in Canopus, but you must leave. Go to the old laboratory. I have a special task for you. The laboratory? Place. But I dare not disobey you, my lady. Thank you for showing that. I am Arilu Vorlesh, also known as the architect of the world wound. Watch it! She's deadlier than a dozen demons. The betrayer of humanity. Her words are poison and lies. Oh, Lady Arilu. I, Nenio, am your most devoted admirer. Your research is an invaluable contribution to the development of science on Galarion. And this experiment with a world wound is simply groundbreaking. May I please have your autograph? <laughs> You've handled the power of the Sword of Valor well. Such artifacts are almost like living creatures, and they react to their own kind, shall we say. The Sword of Valor once belonged to a mere mortal who became a goddess. It seems to see something kindred in you. Touching you has left the sword irreversibly changed. Now it is your banner, not Iomide's. Although perhaps it will still stop the demons from teleporting to the city as before. 
You've helped me twice already. In Canabres, when we fell into the caves, and here, pointing the way to the Sword of Valor. Why would a half-demon, Descari's favorite, ever do such a thing? I'm creating something. Building. Studying how the land lies. Laying the foundation. I am called the Architect for a reason. I'm not asking you to trust me. That would be unforgivably stupid. But I suggest, just suggest, that you search, analyze, think. What happened in old Sarkoris? What is the world wound? What is happening to you? Search for your answers. And for now, farewell. Crusading isn't that boring after all. Okay. I'll rip you apart. Always a chance, thank God. Thank you, please. Only you deserve my obedience. Always a chance. I can't believe.